guys! Howdy! Welcome back or welcome to our channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the anti-TBR tag which we were tagged in by our good friend Nat from Nerdy Nat Reads and basically the gist of it is there's some books we don't want to read. Like we really don't want to read. Like we don't want to finish it, we don't want to pick them up, we don't care. And it's not saying that they're not good books, they're just not our cup of tea. Exactly. So, or a cup of coffee, whichever way you see yeah, it. Yeah, lemonade. So. Sprite. <laughs> lemonade. Anyway. So yeah, let's get started. Bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum. Da. All right, I have the list. Okay. The first one is a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. Do you want to go first? You want me to go first? I can go first. Um, Mine was The Night Circus. By Erin Morgenstern. Yeah, I actually technically have started this book, but I don't remember if I finished it. I don't think I did. I thought you finished it. I thought I read it and then you finished it. And you no. were like, ah! And I was like, yes, the end is so sad. I That happened? I'm barely sure, yeah. I fairly... It was a long time ago, though, whenever it came out. I don't think I remembered reading it. I think you told me to read it. And Maybe you started it and you were like, damn, this is not going then, like, how my, I wanted it to go. And then, like, my, like, something happens in my life and I didn't pick the book back up. Because I really don't... If that's true, I, I mean, don't... you DNF'd it, so... I don't remember the book. Yeah. So I'm just assuming... I know uh, I started it. And I remember you going on and on and on about it. Man... But Something about circuses, like a like carnival, in, a circus. I'm there. Yeah, for I definitely it. didn't finish it because it was like Ooh. from two different people's points of view. Yeah, right? yeah, I didn't finish the book. And like magicians, like some kind Which, of magic. I man. like magic stuff. You should really read Carnival. I just read it. Okay, it's so good. Anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna say Night Circus. Okay, mine is actually it was between two. It was Ninth House <gasps> or Catherine House. <gasps> What? Yeah, I just don't have any interest. I have both of those books. I know. Okay. But they're your books. They're not my books. Well, this is news to me. Yeah. You don't so... want to read Ninth House? I'm sure I can sway. I'm sure I can sway. I like barely read Six of Crows after that horrible trilogy called Shadow and Bone. Anyway, it's not horrible, but I really was like Xing Lee Bardugo. I was like, good Lord, I hated that trilogy. So I really barely read Six of Crows. That ended up being an amazing duology. Okay. So then I only by chance picked up the King of Scars book because my cousin that I always talk about that reads fantasy, she was like, it's so good. You have to read it. So King of Scars is what? Sequel to what? King of Scars is like how there's a trilogy, a duology, and then there's King of Scars and Rule of Wolves, which oh, is coming out. Different yeah, book. I don't know if it's a duology or a trilogy yet, but the second book in that is coming out and it's in the Grishaverse. Oh. Anyway, my whole point is I remember when Ni Ninth House came out and I remember reading like what, what it was about and I was like, I get it, Lee. You want to like branch out a little bit. Not interested. Fair. Just not interested. Okay. Right. Question number two. Question number does a classic book or author you don't have any interest in reading. Okay, so I a classic author that I had no interest in reading literally ever was Shakespeare. True. Um I like agree. literally ever, never, never, never really was interested in that. And I get that he has some of the most like I do like the Hamlet monologue that we had to learn for school. There are parts of Shakespeare I love. But I'm not going to go out of my way. To read a Shakespeare. Yeah. Like what? First of all, it's not written Why? in the way. You have to decipher. Yeah, it. that you can understand. So. Anyway, it's an that. Extra chore. Oh, like even. It's in the same realm, realm as like Canterbury Tales. You guys took like English, AP English lit. No, 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 no. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Canterbury Tales also made my list. <laughs> One that Apriola with the show. Stop, please. Stop. The root of Marta puts Debbie Rota. This is her Rota. thing she gets. And bad at every vine in switch liquor. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so that was the author. And then I came up with a book too, but. Say it. The book that I have literally no interest in reading and I own it is Lolita. You own Lolita? Yeah. It's on my shelf right, right here, actually. I By haven't Vladimir read Nalbukov. it. I don't. The premise, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The premise is a weird premise for me. And I don't think I can get over that originally. But it is an unreliable narrator, I feel. And you know, I like those books. So maybe one day. Yeah. Like, I just like right in this moment. In my headspace right now, I also, I put Lolita on my list as well. It's the very last but thing I'd ever read. I'm always intrigued by the human mind. But I don't really want to know his mind right now. Anyway, I kept mine simple. I generally don't like classics. I was looking through a list to see if I missed anything crazy. And I realized I had read a lot of classics because of 
high school, school. like you yeah. know really the three musketeers is yeah. what you that's the one that you would read you would not read above like you would read other ones before that because yeah. i would think yours would be like more english lit like old english i've read a lot of that i've already read madame bovary I've already read, heights. i don't think i've read wuthering heights but i feel like one day you're gonna make me read that have so. you read the scarlet pimper now the okay scarlet letter i don't like classics but I feel like the Scarlet Pimper Mill is not 700 pages, is it? It's not, no. Okay, it's really so... Okay. But there's also a mystery aspect that you probably would love. Maybe we should do a video and I should just pick out some classics that I think you would actually like. No, I'm not reading... No. That's okay. what I'm saying. I was like, I feel like you would pick no. those kind of books. Or like The Count of Monte Cristo. I've read the ones I like. I like Persuasion. Okay. And I like Beloved and other things like that. Like, I like older books. I just don't like all of them and the ones you listed made my twitch so number three an author whose books you have no interest in reading i had to make mine a little short because i was like this person this person oh god but it used to be sarah j mass but i decided i'm gonna read her next month and i'm gonna give her a chance so she's off that list so now it is um john green Ooh. <laughs> i just have you know, we don't That's say those. such a good one. John Green and J.K. Rowling. Just stuck it with the J's. John Green, like, just makes me want to weep. Anyway, so mine on this list was H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, yes, me too. I didn't even, he doesn't even register as an option. Because yeah. Of... I think, like, when I think of things, I always think I'm, like, old lit. Anyway, he's not, like, super, super old, but, like, yeah. Like I, early 1900s, so yeah, I would. I was gonna actually pick up a book by him because I was like, I really like horror. And then, like, as soon as I like looked him up, the next article was he's hella racist, and I was like, let's just not even yeah go down this route right now. Like, if I wanted to read something like that, like something in the realm of H.P. Lovecraft, I'd read the person who like redid the, his yeah. books. That's Which is what I probably would read. what I'm gonna read as well. Yeah. Because I didn't realize why that show is so good is because how they took his, his like racism and made it yeah like turned it on his face basically. Yeah. Anyway. All right number four. Actually it's 3.2. Oh 3.2. That was my three and 3.2 because I was like HP can just suck a well, 3.2 is a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. So mine would also be JK Rowling because She's transphobic. Transphobic behavior. Number four. Okay, I can see. Okay. An author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. Oh, I couldn't think of anything because I'm not, I don't typically read a bunch of books by one author. That or like if I pick up a book, like I didn't understand. I think I, we had similar dispositions in this. Yeah, because like if I like a book, I'll probably read it. But so I had two. First, I said, I don't know if this counts, but in the like fourth fifth grade i tried to read hobbit one time and i didn't like it it was very like the guy was just running up a hill the whole time that probably counts as like four pages and i felt like i read a lot of it but it was four pages you know it's the silence of the same reading mm -hmm. so you only have 20 minutes and it took 20 minutes for him to run up this hill so and i didn't pick it back up the poor hobbit i also never finished divergent series but it's not because it's because you told me it wasn't good and so i trusted you and i, I like didn't like tell her what happened but i was like don't read allegiant it will ruin everything and i never did so i don't know if that actually counts either because i did like the first two books and i would have read the last one but i had a best friend who said don't do it so i did it, we all and, and now i don't know the pain that y'all feel yeah we and all i feel know. happy about that i tried to protect her and she did anyway <laughs> I was in the same place, kind of, I think, because I was like, all right, if I generally don't like an author, I probably don't pick up their next book. And I shouldn't be like that. I should give people another chance. But the way of things in, like, my past history of reading, I literally won't pick up another book if I didn't like their first book. So the author that I thought of was Lucy Foley. I'm not saying she's a horrible author. I'm just saying I wasn't impressed and I probably won't read another Lucy Foley. I don't know. It's, it was very like Shania Twain. That don't impress me much, and I won't continue. So sorry, Lucy. Okay, well that's we're on very different sides of the fifth star. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, number five. Number five. Number five I'm is a genre you have no interest in, or a genre you tried to get into and could not. Okay, what's yours? Mine is high fantasy. Okay, so high fantasy, as Jess has told us before, it's a fantasy world that has no place in our world whatsoever. Yes. So, like, 
everything's made up. I don't really like that. Mine for this was surrealism. Yeah. It's just hard for me to understand. I feel like it's, if I was smarter. It's not a plot or something. It's kind of. Yeah. yeah, it's just hard for me. I've been trying to get more into that, but I haven't read any books like that this year. So. I actually have a lot of surrealism. I have a lot of surrealist books, but surrealist books? Surrealism? I don't yeah, know what the proper term is, but yeah. anyway, I inherited a lot of books last year from a friend of mine who was moving, and I'm going to try and give it another chance, but I have literally no interest in it, so. I'm going to want to rate those as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, number, number six. six is a book you have bought but will never read. This can be a book you have unhauled slash returned to the library unread. Now, this was really hard for me because I don't buy a lot of books that I don't intend on reading because mm -hmm. that seems wasteful and I don't think I would check out a book that I wouldn't want to read because like why would I you know waste my book check out unless it was like dirty or <laughs> it was something like it turned out to be something I didn't know it was about but I would still probably read it so this one was tough for me to find oh then I remember it. I got the city of glass ashes and bones from work one time and it has been sitting on my bookshelf you're never gonna read it unread i don't think i'm in a rush to read it that's so funny okay yeah mine was the goldfinch by donna tart oh my gosh what yeah. are you saying right now i'm not saying i won't what are you saying ever right read it but like it has literally been on my shelf since it came out i'm not kidding and i was like man i can't wait to get into this thick old book and i just have never picked it up I never know. have okay. even like when the movie came out i was like yeah i'll read it now haven't read it haven't seen the movie i need to read it yeah read that again it's literally on my shelf behind us, I think. Yeah, right here. The goldfinch. Anyway. Oh, I'm going to try and read it eventually. My whole goal in life to, is to try and read a book. TVR. Yeah, but I've never tried it. So it's like, I'm going to try it. And if I don't like it, I'll DNF it and I'll give it away. And that's that. All right, number seven. Let's do it. A series you have no interest in reading or a series you have started and DNF'd. Okay, funny that you said The City of Glass because that was my answer for this question. Cassandra <laughs> Clare and her whole universe. I she has no a lot interest. going on. Yeah, I feel like I missed out on that yeah. as well. I didn't put that one down because there are lots of others that I have started and have no interest. But yeah, I understand what you mean. It's that. just so overwhelming and like, I don't even know what they're all called. Like mortal... Instruments. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say mortal people. I don't know. It's like a whole... I don't want to be rude, but that's my answer. Mine was Harry Potter. Harry Potter? I have no interest. I missed the boat on that, I think. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's like the books that came out when we were younger, like, but we just never read them. Yeah. And like, I feel like Harry Potter is kind of like Star Wars. Like, you know what happens. happens. It's part of, it's ingrained into pop culture. Yeah. I know I'm a Ravenclaw. I know she's a Slytherin. I know Harry Potter. I know Ron is cute. I know Hermione is that badass queen. So why do I need to read the books? I just don't have any interest. And then J.K. Rowling, you know, is losing her mind. So <laughs> it makes sense. I also have no interest in reading Lord of the Rings. I've seen the movies. And that is sufficient enough for me as well. When I say I've seen the movie, I saw me... My friend Alex and Christine, they are all about Lord of the Rings, okay? I'm like, yeah, Yeah, Lord of the Alex Rings. is my homegirl. And I'm a completionist. I know it sounds crazy, I'm, you know, but I like to finish things. So likes I was to like, have a list, likes to check it off. Yeah, I was like, so I'm definitely going to watch all the movies with you guys at the Arclight because why not? They were doing a re-showing a re at this theater in LA that's like known for nice premieres and like nice theater greatest popcorn i've ever tasted and uh so we all decided we were gonna go see it on the big screen again because like when was the last time lord of the rings came out it was like yeah i so, was a baby and i was committed i was like this is gonna be great come to the last one um they kind of left out a key little key information that this was the extended edition and the movie was like what four hours long. Um, I thought the movie. So I thought the movie ended five times. Yeah. And I was really about to scream. Like I was gonna <laughs> scream if the movie did not end where it ended. I was gonna lose it. And so after I've committed those many hours, I don't feel like I need to commit any more hours to reading J.R. Tolkien. J.R.R. Tolkien. Durr. So that is where I stand with that. Let's carry on. So number eight. I'm pretty sure this is a book that is coming out this year that you don't want to read. Oh. Oops. What? A new release. I missed that word. Okay. New release. Okay, well, I'll go. Yes. Mine is The Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. 
because that is obviously part of the whole universe of the mortal instruments and all that stuff. I am not in that culture, so I just have no interest in that new release. Same. I also... It's beautiful artwork, though, on the front of the book. I'm like, ooh, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair, girl. Okay, anyway. We'll see by by next month, but right now I think I'm going to say a, a Court of Silver Flames. I can't wait till she reads Actar and she's like, I love this book. A Court of Silver Flames, is that what it's called? Court of Silver Flames, yeah, that's the new I one. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the big hype is. I'm reading Akatar next month for the first time with Rhea Readings. You are her literally going to scream. I know you're going to live for this. I don't think so. I know you're going to like it, though. <laughs> like, I know you are. Like, it's not like the other fantasy that you've read. Because I know why you don't like fantasy, okay? You're like, get to the point. Where's the stuff? Blah, blah, blah. But, like, you get, like... We will see. You're gonna live. You're gonna live for the love triangle. Okay. We will see. We will see. All right. Anyway. Yeah. So that's the first that came to mind. Yeah. So yeah, that is our anti TBR list. It will probably change because that's how I am. I'm a Gemini moon, but that's what it is right now at this exact second. I think. Mine's pretty solid, looking back over my list. Now, that would be an interesting video, is if we actually, like, read our anti-TBR lists. I'm not reading a Three Musketeers. I'd have to read the whole Cassandra Clare universe, and that would really just put I would me, have to read back Harry Potter. Harry Potter. No. Harry, Harry Potter. I'm not putting that Harry on Potter. us. Harry, Harry Potter. What is this? Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter. What, what? Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter. Okay, now. Okay, so there's this video that... This person did, and they did like a Harry Potter. I forget what. It's oh, called. is that? From but it's that? like the one that's like Snape, Snape, the Fairy Potter Ceteris musical. Snape, maybe I don't know. I feel like they're puppets. That's I've seen saying. that. Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen that. Anyway, that's what that's what it is. Because Harry Potter pops up, and he's like Harry Potter, Harry Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Harry Potter. Okay, Dumbledore. Anyway, it's just so good. Um, cool. So let's sign off. That's it for the video. If you guys <laughs> like this, we <laughs> saw energy. All right, great. Um, we have we're ready to eat. Okay, it's like lunchtime for us, so we're just like this thing is hitting me in the face. I like literally keep hitting the eucalyptus. <laughs> okay, um, for for real, this was like this video. Subscribe if that. you feel the need to do so. Please do, please. Please comment your anti DBR. You don't have to go through the whole list, but like, what's one thing that you just will not read yeah tell me that what so would we'll probably agree we'll yeah probably agree. if it's one of ours let us know like if you've read hp lovecraft and you love it for some reason love him for some reason please don't comfort me in the comments i know that i put a lot of y'all's favorites on my list aka harry potter and just so y'all know i'm ravenclaw i understand okay i yes and that it's it's pop it's I'm just begging. Please. It's okay if you come for me. It's fine. We it's also fight. fine if you do too. Yeah. You're allowed your opinions. You but are just allowed. know that we are too. So there you go. Anyway, um, yeah. Put the notification bell on if you want to see more of these crazy kooky videos. And until next week, we'll see you next time on The Ruby's Digest. Ruby's Digest. I wanted to plug your song that you just did on your little thing and be like, no, do you guys know that Monique is we a don't singer? need to do any of I that. almost reposted it on Rumi's Digest. You're being crazy. This and then I was like, does she want people to flood her personal? Because Monique is like on a scale of popularity. Monique's popular scale is like way higher than mine. That's so not I'm like, true at all. if I like put it on no. the story, people will be like, Monique sings. Please stop. And just this like attention. vultures will descend upon her <laughs> personal Instagram. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this is a shout out for that. If you guys can find Monique's personal Instagram, go and like the last video on there because she did a little song and like she keeps saying she like wants to come out with a single. But I Why? think she needs a kick in the patootie. If that you watched our last video, you know what I'm referencing. So anyway, Thank like, you. subscribe, comment, notification bell. And until next week, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay. You really have to do that to me. Yep. It seemed fun at the time. <laughs>